Good evening, everybody. Everybody get tired yet? That's a good tip. I'm Dave Cashmoney. I'm running for District 5 County Commission against uh, pretty much Joe Tassero. There's a, a Democrat that I've seen put her name in all over the place. I don't know if she's even qualified. And there's an NPA who's not answering. Can you hear me okay? Am I doing another one? Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of low. So, for anyone who doesn't know, I've been in Southwest Florida since 1974. I've been in Charlotte County since 92. And I graduated from USF with a BA in Business Administration and a lot of studying in uh, computer science. So, I put that all to, to work. And in the computer business, I've had for 23 years, 24 years now. And uh, also a growing window washing business. Um, Actually, my, my real education came about when I started looking at presidential candidates around 2008. And I came across Ron Paul's website, and he had a comment section at the bottom of his website, and I got my education there to start. And then we started teaching things like the 5,000 year week, the Constitution, Federalist and Anti Federalist Papers, and things like that. But basically, what I learned through all that was what American government should be. Not what it is, what it should be. But what else? I've been speaking in front of the commissioners for oh, over 10 years now about the violations of rights of the people, wasteful spending, and other various things. And some things have come across Started out basically, sorry, I got to see. The sewer project was probably where things started out. There was so much deception, corruption, it was a mess. They had 11 failing septic systems in this lake that they were trying to say was polluted. And instead of fixing the septic systems, they put test, little test uh, machines at each one to try to prove that it was polluted, that it was polluted. But since then, they've got the Acura project, which Stan Susan are part of, and I believe you've been paying for sewer for two years now, and you don't even have it yet, right? Do you even have it yet? Just got it, paying for it for two years. People have to leave their homes. They tripled some of their, uh, their taxes tripled last time. Some people had to actually leave. Hundreds of taxpayers came out. Nobody wanted it. They did it anyway. But this is just going to be my short list of of my history with the commissioners. Uh, the sales tax deception. If you go to Charlotte Perry's Greatest Hits, you will find an interview there with a gentleman that was a commissioner of the past. And what he does is he just, he wrote out the actual steps they use every single time for the sales tax. It's called the Delphi technique. And he just puts the steps step by step. It'll burn you up if you look at it. Even the documents there. And it's exactly what they do, and they fool us every year. And it was supposed to sunset in 96, I think. Well, we've had a sales tax ever since. Uh, I have just a quick list. The county attorney erased years and years of county videos, saying that they were worried that it would bite them in the butt later. That was the excuse. They used to have it all the way back to 2005. They wasted eighty thousand dollars on boat races. Now ninety thousand dollars on cornhole. And one of the commissioners said, "Oh, it's coming from the tourist, the tourist money. It's coming from the people. Everything they spend comes from the people somewhere. You could you could compartmentalize it all you want. They just uh, approved over five hundred thousand for elevated walkways in a legacy park for one of the commissioners, where they got millions of dollars of monuments. You know, a lot of our taxes are going up." They're building monuments. They're putting a million dollar gateway project at King's Highway. So when you see the Port Charlotte sign coming in off of 75, you might just forget for a few blocks. So they spent a million dollars to put up this beautiful sign with sidewalks around it, irrigation, yeah. and landscaping, so just so you remember that you're in Port Charlotte. That's where your tax dollars are going. Uh, clapping is bad for citizens in public meetings. Photography is banned in all county buildings by private citizens. They have cameras everywhere, but if you walk in to document what public officials do in these public buildings, you are automatically given a trespass warning, and if you go back, you'll be arrested. That's what they say. I've been trespassed myself. Andrew's been trespassed from everywhere, right? Everywhere. Pretty much. 
every spiritual special, special with anything. But they forced a vet serving in Afghanistan to tear his house down because he didn't get it done quick enough. This is all about a government that's out of control. Okay. Yeah. If you want yeah. somebody that's going to get into office and start reading this in, yeah. that's me. The county's attacking farmers with code enforcement. Yeah. Thank God yeah. for Dave Kaler, who was trained in the law. He's been protecting these farmers. He's the only one that wins the code enforcement court. He's won like five or six cases for the farmers. That's our food, right? Uh, what else they Oh, they tax churches and nonprofits. Does everyone know the county taxes churches and nonprofits? They actually tried to put two of them out of business. They almost shut two churches down with their MSBU. Uh, the shallow story. Everyone here now knows the shallow story, right? I don't need to say any more about that. That's crazy. There's like water shortages. Now this may be, this may not, this, someone calls it a conspiracy theory, but currently our commissioners may have already approved more development than we have room for water. You gotta water. Okay, they're also pushing these sewers get suck up tens of billions of gallons of water. They're also taking away people's wells and their systems. Yes. So if government's in control of water, then they're really in control of it, right? We gotta bring in bottled water? I don't know. Here's some numbers. The county budget has consistently expanded year after year. From 2019 to 23, the budget surged from 775,593 to 1.1 billion. Uh, 1. Point, uh, what's it? 1 billion, 146 billion, 192,000. A staggering increase nearly 48 percent, where our, our uh, population only grew 11 percent. From 2017 to 23, the number of county employees grew 21 percent. That kind of sounds like a lot, right? Yeah, okay. But from 23 to 24, it grew another 12 percent. The population at that point maybe 12, 14 percent. We're already looking at uh, 30 percent increase in county employees. Yeah. I'm elected. I'm not going to rubber stamp everything the bureaucrats give me. Okay, we're we'll look into it. Hopefully, going to have a crew of people Yay. to help me. I can't do this all by myself. We've got to do research. We've got to find out what we can cut uh, after small government. Like what Rand Paul said, government's so small, you can't even see it. We don't need a, a nanny state. I'm not ready to provide more stuff for people. The, the founders made the point that when the people can vote for government largesse, everything falls apart. And that's where we're at now. I'll fight against everything I just mentioned previously. I'll fight for less spending, which means lower taxes. We don't have to have, we don't have a shortage of tax money. Our commissioners have a spending problem. I won't vote for any more increased budgets. Your property, 
and your rights, and that is all. Okay? And your rights don't include things like the right to not be offended, or the right to have your, your, your neighbor's property look the way you want it to. That's, those are rights. We're talking about the natural rights that we should have. And we should be free to do as we please as long as we have nobody else. Thank you. Um, number two, um, can you give me maybe the top two uh, things you want to um, mention that you agree with the current county commission on? And this is where my little curveball throw, uh, is thrown in. How do you feel about complimenting the positives of your opponents? And um, and then, uh, as for the negatives, what are the two negatives and how do you feel about uh, the proper way to criticize your opponents? Well, one thing that I did agree with them recently on the fix the bridge. Guess what? That's the job of government, to fix roads and bridges, right? Um, when, they, when they expand the bird store, I agree with them. I agree with what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to maintain things. That's what government's supposed to do. There is no, it's not a business. It, it is run as a business. It is a corporation now, but it's not a business. But you, your question was, how do I? How do, you, how do you feel you should treat your opponents when they do something like that? Well, I just got in trouble for complimenting one of my opponents in the last meeting I was at. <laughs> and I'm not even sure if all the emails were correct, but he brought up a bunch of emails. I looked at mine and I only found one thank you, but I will. If, I, if they do something I like, I'm going to say yes. Why would I not do that? I'm not, I was never in this to run for commission in the first place, and even if I was, I could do that. Because basically, if they're doing something right, you want to encourage them to do the right thing, right? I do complain 99% of the time, but when they do that one little 1% once in a while, I'm going to thank them for it. Top two things you are critical of, and how do you think you should handle your opponents when you're being critical? Code enforcement is probably the number one thing. Um, there's a little bit possibly needed, but not much. And nothing like they did. They hired, one week they hired about 33 people, I think 28 of them were code enforcement. We fought a revolution, and if you look at the Declaration of Independence, one of the items on there is that the king was sending hither swarms of officers to harass and find the people. That sounds like the definition of code enforcement to me. Okay? <laughs> No, 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 no. Um, so how would you uh, approach your opponents when it comes to being critical? What's the best way to approach your opponent? Just discuss and expose. <laughs> okay, so the next one, um, since I know you, I'm going to ask it more directly. How are you going to cut spending? And then because you're cutting spending, how are you going to cut taxes? The only way I can cut spending I'm just one vote out of five. I can fix 20% of the problem. I just won't vote for more spending unless it's absolutely necessary. Yes, if it's roads and bridges, if it's stuff we actually need. Because I know the difference between needs and wants. Okay, I've never been a rich man. I, I know how we live in a budget, unlike probably most of our commissioners, and not all of them. And I understand that there are people that aren't multi-billionaires and they have to live. We can't raise taxes. But how can I cut taxes? I can lobby to cut taxes. I can try to get the people out to cut taxes. I can try to get into office and try to get Hal into office. And then hopefully, if it's three against two the whole time, we can get one more in, and then we make the decisions, and we cut taxes. It's all about the vote. I'm going to take a little prerogative on this one. If you know someone who can run against Mr. Doherty, please let us know, because then you have three to two. That's yes. it. So, hey, hey, you know who? Yes, I am. You are? You're running? Uh, yes, I am. I will be. Oh, well, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. We're happy right now. Okay, thank you. Um, so, everyone, um, we're going to do a little more lightning style round here. So, can you please tell me, um, the commission, can you give me uh, maybe some bullet points of things you want to cut? Monuments, gateway projects, um, a lot from parks and rec, um, environmentally sensitive lands. How long does that have to keep going? How much more environmentally sensitive do lands get in here? I gotta look up and see how much the budget went up for environmentally sensitive lands. Yeah. At one point many years ago, the government owned like 40% of the land. It wasn't all shot and county. State and local, they owned like 40% of the land. That's not America. It's not America. What else did you say? You said. Uh, I'm going to make you a follow-up question. 
So on the craft of cutting, um, I know this is something you might have to look into more precisely, but if you were to estimate what percentage of the government right now in the county do you think would be waste, you could cut if you had a coalition of like-minded people with you. We already cut 20%, so it's more than that. Because <laughs> that was like a bit of what I wanted to cut. I would say 40%. Um, I, I know you already touched on this, but if you're on the commission, um, is there any other, uh, not mentioned today, ordinances, rules, restrictions you think should be eliminated to allow for more personal freedom? There's a whole, like I said, a whole book of code, unfortunately. The permits, the permission, the licensing. I'll give you a quick story about Hurricane Charlie. We passed up a very good contractor that wasn't licensed that would have done a beautiful job for half the price. We got a licensed contractor. When they were done with the, uh, the, uh, the tiles, the ground line was like four inches from the wall, and they were all crooked. So we had them come back, and they were doing the same thing again, so we had to hire somebody else. And the drywall was about five or five inches from the bottom, so you couldn't put any, any trim on it. So licensing doesn't help anything. We have uh, car licenses to drive, so there's no uh, accidents, marriage licenses, or divorces. Licensing, code enforcement, and waste. Uh, again, the uh, parks and recs is crazy. The budget is insane, okay? And if you look at the cornhole thing. In order to pay for one person's game or one person's hobby, you gotta take from everybody else. When I was a kid, I had my own sport. I paid every penny in my own sport. The school wasn't even going to let me go to a competition because they didn't pick over or something. I just told them to go anyway. But, um, basically, if you have a sport or a, 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 a hobby, a game, I mean, you want to pay $100,000 for Parcheesi? Does anyone want to do that? Come on. <laughs> the government, it's unsustainable, okay? Along with the, oh, something else is the, um, the retirement, the retirement benefits for all employees. It's crazy, it's unsustainable, they get out of here. If they live to be 100, there's no way we're gonna be able to pay for them. And they're all probably gonna wind up with nothing, but still, it's just everything we do is unsustainable. What else, what was the most, you your question? Yeah, yeah. You, you hit on what I was looking for, unless you wanted to add to the, light, the items that we were talking about. So everyone, this time I'm gonna go right to last full circle. Um, would anyone like to ask a question before I give Mr. Roskin here? There has been questions raised of the ethical integrity of the current board commissioners, specifically uh, conflicts of interest in development in the county. Part of that concerned the increase in the budget for the EMS and the fire department. Mm. And their budget actually was reduced, but the county commissioners approved an increase over what was asked. One of the speculations is that the reason for that increase is so that down the road, privatization can come in at a lower rate, and certain commissioners may have interests in those privatizations. Each commissioner is required to take an oath of office. Part of that oath is to report wrongdoing yeah. to the right authorities. If you are elected to that position, can you pledge to the voters that if you uncover wrongdoing, you will report it? I already do that. <laughs> Not as a commissioner. <laughs> this is good to have on my record, Mr. Yes. How often do you hear yes from a politician? Yes, Rudolph. Andy? Uh, yes, you already mentioned it, I guess. I've been trespassed from everywhere, and uh, I am enemy number one. Tip of the spear is disgusting. Just for exposing, like you, government corruption with the government, the sheriff, the police, it is ridiculous. So, as you said, that's one of the things that you will stop and uh, is the trespassing of people that are recording audio video of public officials in a public place. And are you also aware it was never even voted on? 
Also, I got one more part to this uh, question too. I know we need the police, but nowhere did our founding fathers say that we're supposed to have an illegal military police state. And you know and I know our share is completely out of control with the spending budget. You just thought, you just mentioned it too. The retirement alone is completely unsustainable. Regular businesses don't pay that. That's because you, once you're done working, you're done working. So um, yeah, I'd like you to talk on those two topics. I'm gonna follow with Phil last that four picture to this because I know it's gonna be a hot button. Ooh. Well, obviously I was trespassed. I ranted, I spoke in front of the commissioners, I sent them emails, I appealed my case very well, I believe, but they said that the constitution law, case law, <laughs> the opinion of the state attorney, none of that matters in the court because it's an administrative court, it's a fake angle court. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I will do everything I can. I will lobby again if we get three commissioners. That will, that's a totally illegal action, what they're doing. They can't do that legally. Correct. And if you know, I don't think you know, of course, that this was never going on. This was a rule that was written by the county attorney and the county administrator because they have blanket authority to make any facility rule they like. Am I too far or too close from the mic? Do you? You're fine. They could do, they could say, uh, Nobody allowed that dissents from God. They also have a no pamphleteer uh, ordinance in that same rule. Oh, you can't pamphleteer. The American Revolution was started pretty much by pamphlets. We can't go into a meeting and hand out pamphlets if we have a, 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 some kind of a contentious issue. That's, you get trespass, or you get a trespass warning. Nobody has challenged that. Uh, and no, no lawyers will take it up. They won't even come to show it. What was your second question? Uh, oh, was, yeah, the I'm sheriff. I'm the only one that's been up and said that the sheriff's budget's too high. It is. Everyone's afraid to say that. It's too high. I'm not a defunded police. This budget's outrageous. Correct. It goes up. I think people are getting shot left and right by neighborhood. His budget went up a million bucks. <laughs> what did that help? Just took more money from us. So. Correct. Can you do civil asset forfeiture real quick and then go to you? Civil asset forfeiture. A couple times I spoke in front of the commissioners where uh, the sheriff had sent them a letter to give them some money, give them more money to help with civil forfeiture. I wasn't sure what it was for. I don't know if there were some cases, but that's just without due process and it's not something that you. If you commit a crime, you should go to jail. If you stole something, you should give it back. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if you steal something from somebody or do something from them, they should get repayment. The government doesn't deserve anything. Mm -hmm. and maybe their maintenance fees. And they certainly shouldn't get their property. There was a guy that uh, had a brand new truck and he got busted for marijuana or something. And it was like a $50,000 truck. And they took his truck. And Ooh. thank God, Institute for Justice came in and it took a year to get it. And it also happened right here on 75. A lady let her boyfriend drive. She was sleepy, so she would have crashed. So she let her boyfriend drive and was suspended, so they took her only brand new car she ever had. I think she finally got it back. Wow. Just be for thought, hypothetically, you have a five million dollar house. You allow your son to live with you. They decide to sell cocaine. Yep. Your house is gone. Yep. But we have to have, we have to have enough water, and we have the right to travel. 
We have the right to build, but we also have the right to slaughter and the right to travel. So it has to be balanced. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not absolutely sure how I'll do that, but the same kind of balance those two. Uh, that, that's what I'm not sure.